So instead of trying to combat consumer behavior, at Loop we're trying to play into consumer behavior where we tell you, look, you don't have to clean your used, used uh, packaging once it's done. You don't have to sort it. You can, in fact, treat it like garbage. But when you put it in your garbage bin, instead of ending up in a landfill, or better, a recycling center, it ends up back with loop and gets cleaned and reused. Loop is all about how do we match the convenience of disposability by giving consumers the closest thing to a disposable experience while acting reusable. And I think this is a great lesson in sustainability business models is sustainability ought not to be a sacrifice because then we're going to be only appealing to one or two percent of the public. If sustainability could be better, uh, a better future where it happens to be more sustainable, then consumers will flock to that in a much bigger way. In January 2017, uh, at the World Economic Forum, we launched the world's first shampoo bottle with Procter & Gamble made 25% from ocean plastic. And we were celebrating. By this point in time, our business had been 15 years of straight growth. And it was a great moment to step back and ask ourselves, is recycling and making from recycled materials, the core of the TerraCycle business, the answer to waste? And in that moment, I remember this so clearly at Davos, we realized that it is critically important, but only the solution to the symptom of waste. And that question led on a journey to say, okay, if recycling is not the foundational answer to eliminating the idea of waste, what is? And we realized that the real foundational cause of waste is disposability, or using things once. Which then asked the question, how do we make durability or reusability mainstream and at scale? And that's where Loop was born.